Hello students, welcome to your favorite art program. Today, you will learn about one of the easiest and most rewarding techniques in art called charcoal. In this lesson, you will learn how fun charcoal drawing can be. Charcoal Charcoal is made from burnt wood. It is an organic carbon produced from heated wood under the exclusion of oxygen. What remains in the process is more or less pure carbon. It is simple, cheap and durable. The history of charcoal. The first recorded use of charcoal as an intrinsic medium was in cave paintings. Charcoal is arguably one of the oldest media for the creation of two-dimensional art. A burnt stick was one of the first drawing tools used in primitive cave paintings in locations such as Lascaux. Prehistoric men obtained pigments from charcoal to draw and paint. It's amazing to think of primitive men using charcoal in caves to record their existence in life. Let us now have a look at these drawings on the wall. Here is a cave painting dated 30,000 BC. Other prehistoric charcoal images found in caves in France. Many artists have explored charcoal to create stunning masterpieces. So let us have a look. Vincent van Gogh's drawing entitled Landscape in Stormy Weather conceived in 1885. An expressive drawing of Rembrandt, Lion Resting, created in 1652. Edgar Degas interpreted two dancers resting, created in circa 1895. Pablo Picasso's drawing, Sculpture of a Head, created in 1932. Albert Durer created a portrait of the artist mother at the age of 63 in 1514. There are different types of charcoal available. You can get charcoal in the form of pencil, stick, powdered form and pressed chalk pieces so-called artist charcoal. Some of the outstanding properties of charcoal are you can create endless tonal values and gradations. It is possible to draw very quickly so it is an excellent medium for quick sketches. Charcoal allows us to work on small and big formats. It is very durable. There is almost no aging or fading effects on black charcoal works. It can be smudged easily with fingers or paper stump. It easily erases and can be darkened by adding layers. Let us look at some basic strokes, lines, textures, shape and value can be created that will help you to enliven your drawings. Hatching, cross hatching, dotting, expressive lines, thick lines, squiggles, blending and gradation. Can you identify the various strokes used in this drawing? Now I will show you how to draw a towel. You will need the following materials. Charcoal sticks or chalk, charcoal pencil, tortillons or torsion, 
A4 size drawing paper with a rough texture and a towel. Step 1. Place a cloth on a white background. Step 2. Observe it and make a linear drawing. Step 3. Begin lightly with the hardest charcoal. Step 4. Gradually darken the drawing with softer charcoal. Step 5. Use a tartelan to blend marks. Step 6. Use a fixative to fix your artwork to prevent smudging. You may use a hairspray. Keep it 15 to 25 cm distance away from your drawing. It is highly recommended to spray outside. And here is your final work. A great tip to achieve realistic drawing in charcoal is by referring to a black and white photograph. In the same way, you can draw stunning hyper-realistic drawings. An impressive example of lifelike drawing in charcoal is artist Chia Meng Wu Joy. She is a talented, renowned artist who comes from Nigeria due to her hyper-realistic charcoal drawings. Charcoal is also a versatile medium which can be used to create extremely realistic, expressive and gestural drawings. Let us have a look at some further ideas. Here is an observational study of a pair of shoes. An observational study of a highly reflective glass of water. A close-up study of an orange. An organic form inspiration from a plant with intricate veins patterns. A dog engaged in a deep thought. Dear students, I hope you have enjoyed learning about the oldest drawing medium of art. As we say, black is beautiful. So use your imagination and get creative. Thanks for watching and see you soon.